Hey guys, welcome back to WP Paper Manager. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can control the recapture validation on your event registration form. Uh, I hope you didn't know that we have a recapture validation integrated for our event registration, but courtesy of our uh, Google recapture uh, add on, uh, it's there. So we're going to firstly take a look into that first of all, but uh, let's check out like the settings that we are talking about. So we're going to go to settings section of WP Event Manager, then switch to Google Recapture. And the very last settings over here, enable recapture for submit registration form. So that's the settings we're going to talk about. All right. So let's go to front end side and we're going to open any of our events. So over here, we're going to choose an event. So let's choose the tick job pair and we're going to go ahead and register ourselves for the event. So the registration form should be here. And over here we can have some names. Uh, we have some additional data that we have set for the registration form from the backend side. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and fill this up. Then we can take a look at the recapture settings. All right. So we can type in test. Uh, I can type in this. And all right. So if I do not click on this validation, obviously it's going to throw any error. So let's go ahead and try that, should we? Uh, let's click on send registration and it should throw as an error. Please verify that you are not a robot. That's correct behavior. Uh, let's fill out these details once again. And we're gonna this time, of course, validate ourselves with the recapture. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And now we can send our registration. That's it. It says your event registration has been submitted successfully. All right. So pretty much simple flow, like the standard flow we have for the registration itself. Uh, now let's say if you don't want your uh, customers or your users to validate themselves uh, in the event registration form, uh, whether they are robot or not using the capture. That's understandable. Uh, we have an option for that. So let's go back to settings and we're going to turn off this checkbox right here and click on save changes. And if we go back to the tech job fair section over here, and if we reload this page uh, that we will be able to see that register for event section does not have a recapture validation anymore. So now you can put down your email and put down your other details. If you have any, uh, then you can just go ahead and submit your, uh, registration without recapture validation. So like all the other forms that supports the. Uh, recapture validation in the website itself the recapture for uh, this registration form can be uh, controlled either can be turned on or turned off for your convenience all right so you can just go ahead and click on send registration that will work just fine like before and if you want to like re-enable the recapture validation for this form that's pretty simple you can just come over here and turn this back on click on save changes then all you have to do is reload this page uh, that will go ahead and enable the recapture validation for your registration form in an instant. As you can see over here, that's how simple it is. I hope this video gave you a bit of a uh, straightforward guide through and a little bit of explanation about how it works. And I hope you uh, enjoyed watching it, learned something new. Uh, let me know in the comment what you think. And if you have any kind of questions or queries, let me know in the comment. I'll be sure to help you out in there. And until next time, I'm sure saying goodbye. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.